Let's go ahead and dive into our super contest picks. You uh, you ready for that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Here is. Hang on. Let me let me get mine. Let me get mine up. So you go ahead and start <laughs> us off. I will, I will start us off, and and I'm going to roll with a with a game that I was somewhat questioning before, but I'm I'm fully in on now. I'm going to take the 49ers plus one at the Bengals. This is just a significantly more efficient football team with San Francisco than Cincinnati. I understand Cincy is volatile. I understand that they can have days where they absolutely hit on every big play and everything goes right, like we saw against the Steelers. And then they have days where everything can go wrong, like happened against the Chargers last week. I think the 49ers can do to them what the Chargers did. So give me give me the 49ers plus the one here. I think they win the game outright. Okay. All right. I am going to go with uh, winning your first game of the year. Big, big deal. Uh, can you beat Week 12, get your first win, and have a winning streak? Give me the Lions plus nine against the Broncos. Listen, this Broncos team looks awful. Yeah, now, they did last I don't week, think yeah. they. I don't think they lose to the Lions, but I ain't laying nine points to Broncos with anybody. Lions plus nine at the Broncos. Okay, I can I can get with this. I, I forgot took the Texans last week, and that was real bad. So I'm not afraid <laughs> of taking bad teams. It doesn't always work. You got that right. I, I forgot to give the records. Uh, I went four and one against the number last week. That puts me at thirty eight and twenty seven uh, against the Pretty spread. Good. It's not bad this year. I've I've kind of been rolling. Chris, last week you went two and three. You are sitting at 29, 29, and two so far. I do have an entire week of games that you were you were at the happiest place on earth. So I do have a few games up on you. But uh but I will tell you this. I went on five that week. So if I had not <laughs> if I had not bet those games, I'd be sitting at 38 and 22. Oh my god, it'd be ridiculous right now. I'd, I I would have won 38 out of 50 games. That's just absurd. Or out of uh, 60 games. And so that's just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. All right. So you did Lions plus nine. I'm going to roll Jags plus 10 at the Titans. The Titans don't really blow anybody out. And when they play against bad competition, sometimes they tend to play down. down to them. Yeah, they play down yeah. to the level of competition. That's just what this team is. So I fully expect that the Jags, especially for a divisional game, Jags are going to be able to keep this within within single digits. So give me give me the Jaguars here. I'm going to go to the New York football giant plus 10 and a half. I'm taking a lot of dogs, taking some big dogs. It's the Chargers team. Now, I think the Chargers are a really good football team, all right? But the Chargers don't beat anybody badly either. They, this is a drunk-ass team, and the Giants could win this game because the Chargers are just weird. So, I will take all 10 and a half points. I am going to go the opposite of you on this. No way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I've actually got it written down. Uh, Chargers minus 10.5. You know I don't like laying big, big favorites. But in this situation, uh, the Giants' offense is so putrid. They are so terrible. Now, the defense can absolutely keep Justin Herbert at bay, right? But a big problem for the Giants is they give up some explosive plays, and Herbert uh, has shown that he can hit those you know, pretty, pretty majorly. I, I think I think that the Chargers are going to whip the Giants over on the West Coast. So I, I'm Man, taking the Chargers minus team 10 is just They play such weird games all the time. Okay. Yeah, they do. They do. I, I don't feel great about it, but uh, but it is one of my top five picks. <laughs> so let's see. So that's that was my third pick. What's uh what's your third pick? I think I'm gonna take the football team plus four against Dallas. And the Dallas team has looked really weird the last I don't know, five weeks of the season. They start the season off amazing. It, and then, then they've looked weird. They're getting a lot of guys back healthy, but the football teams look really good lately. I, I don't need them to win. I just need them to cover more than a field goal. I'll take football team. Okay, I'm going opposite of you again on this. My line on this was actually Dallas minus six and a half. And the fact that it opened up four, that was an automatic play for me. So I've already bet this one. <laughs> I. I think that the Cowboys, they don't play well when Amari Cooper is out. Uh, when he plays, they are a significantly better football team. Uh, he's supposed to be playing this week. So I I think that he's, it's not just him, obviously, but I, I think the Cowboys are just better than Washington. And I think that they've covered against Washington like a ton. 
Like just, I, I don't have the numbers pulled up in front of me, uh, but that's part of the reason why I took the Cowboys here at minus four, uh, because I think this should be closer to uh, a touchdown. And I know that the football team has been playing significantly better, and I'm kind of with you, like you know as well as anybody that I'm not a Cowboys fan, and that I do like Washington because of all the Alabama ties, right? <laughs> but uh, but when I see this number, I'm I'm looking at it as, man, I think I think the Cowboys are are the right way to go here. Let's see. Pulling it up right now. The Dallas 5-1 and one against the spread last six on the road. Let's see. Nah, it doesn't say anything about the actual matchup between the two. But regardless, that's that's the reason why I went that way. But I could totally understand you going uh, the way that you did there. So I'm, I'm not downplaying it or anything like that. Let's see. I've actually got it pulled up now as far as the last, what, 10 times that they have played. And the Cowboys, I know that you don't like the history stuff. And I put postseason and not regular season, like an idiot. There we go. All right. Uh, We've got uh, Dallas has covered, let's see. I am so wrong. Washington covered the last two. They they covered both of them against Dallas last year. They hadn't played this year. So before that, though, uh, Washington had not covered in eight games against them. So that's what it was. I was thinking back to last season. So you might be on to something here. You might be on to something. All right, so you're riding with the football team plus four. I'm riding Cowboys minus four. Uh, what is your fourth pick? We're getting into the games where I don't really like, but we don't have enough games for me to pick that I love. Just don't take so the I'm going to go to Cleveland. Okay, thank God. I got the, <laughs> no, no, I, I'm, not, I'm not betting one nickel on the Falcons the rest of the year. I made that decision a couple weeks ago, and I didn't even lose on them. I just I just saw them there bad. Okay. No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with uh, with my brownies. They got the week off. Uh, Baker's got to be a week better, healthy wise. But what I really like is the Ravens. Um, Humphreys being out. If if Humphreys misses this game, that secondary is already not good. Surely Baker and the Browns can get something going offensively after after you know getting to play a beat-up Ravens team coming off of a brutal uh, battle against uh, the Steelers. Yeah, I can uh, I can totally understand that. I can see that. So, Browns minus two and a half. I, 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 don't, I disagreed earlier in the previews, but I, this, I'm staying away from it. So, I understand where you're coming from with it. I see where you're going with it. My fifth and final one, I am taking the Panthers to cover three against the Falcons. This Falcons team is... Bad, bad, bad. I have no idea how they have as many wins as they do on the season because as far as efficiency goes, this team is dead last in the NFL. They're number 32 in total DVOA. Now, Carolina ain't much better. They're number 27. But at least Carolina is good on one side of the ball, right? At least Carolina has a good defense. This Falcons offense is number 31. They are putrid on offense. The Falcons defense is number 29. And the Carolina offense is number 29. Like, I I see at least one part of uh, the Panthers is a good side of the ball, and with the Falcons there is no good side of the ball. Like these, the Falcons are also dead last in special teams efficiency. There is no advantage anywhere on the field for the Falcons. I I'm going to take the Panthers to cover the three. My last one's going to be the same bet I've been making all year. Give me the Raiders my uh, plus ten against the Chiefs. I the Chiefs have covered. Last couple, but uh, I, you know, it's just been a good bet. These guys, the number is overinflated all the time on them. It's just that much harder to, for them to cover, and uh, and and I'm just going to keep betting against them. And there were a lot of ways that they didn't that they would not have covered against the Broncos last week, and and they found a way to do it. But I mean, they they only put up 22 points last week. I mean, it's not it's not like they were crazy. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm with you. I can understand that. So I'm I'm staying out of the way of that train for at least a little bit, but I do like uh, where your mind is at on that one. So all right, so let's uh, let's do a little bit of a recap here. I've got 49ers plus one, Jags plus ten, Panthers minus three, Cowboys minus four, and Chargers minus ten and a half. Chris is going to take the Lions plus nine, Giants plus ten and a half, Washington Football Team plus four. He's taking the Brownies minus two and a half, and he's taking the Raiders plus ten. I like it. I like it. Chris, is there anything else you want to hit on? No, that's it, brother. Dig that. All right, let's go ahead and close it. I'll, I'll, I'll let you go, and then I'll close it out. How's that? All right, see you, man. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later, buddy.
All right, so that was Chris. He hopped in. We we got it knocked out. Thank goodness. You know that I hate doing this show by myself, uh, but he did hop in, and we got it taken care of. So let's go ahead and close it out. I appreciate all of you for being here. You are all fantastic. If you have not already, like the video for us, share it out. If you haven't subscribed on the podcast, please do so. If you haven't subscribed on the YouTube, please do so. Knock all that stuff out. We would certainly appreciate it. The show is brought to you by BetUS, where the game begins. It's America's premier online sports book. Go ahead and check it out. We've got a link in the description for that. I host the BetUS College Football Show. Chris is on the Bookmaker Review College Football Show. Link is in the description for both of those as well. With that said, we are going to get out of here. You guys have been awesome. We appreciate you taking time to listen to the mess that we talk on here three times a week. We certainly appreciate it. With, uh, with that said, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And hopefully, hopefully, all of you tickets cash this week. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe. And we'll see you soon.